Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Momuna and I'm a beauty YouTuber. Um, if this is your first time of seeing my content, I hope you enjoy it and you stay. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. If you're returning, welcome back. You need to subscribe. I don't know what you're doing. So um, today's video is going to be me going from this hair color, which is like, um, it almost has like, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like greenish, grayish to what I presume is going to be my thumbnail, which should be like a brighter, lighter gray. Um, that was my initial color, and I decided to try this out, and now I'm kind of tired of it, so I'm ready to go back, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want to see how I go from this to that, hopefully it looks good, I don't know, fingers crossed, then keep watching, and yeah, leave a comment and all that good stuff so that um, YouTube can share my video more essentially leave like a thumbs up and a comment so let's get started first we're going to need we're going to need some oils a hairbrush developer bleach purple shampoo the plastic bowl an application brush and then a scoop those are the items we're going to use for this today Next, you're gonna need either a towel or like a cloth you don't care about. This is my smock that I use for my wig client. But yeah, I forgot to add they're going to need gloves. You definitely need gloves. Please always wear your protective gear. Um, it's very important. And if you know you're allergic to like dust and um, little particles, you should wear like a face mask so that the particles from the bleach doesn't enter your, I mean, they don't enter your nose. Okay, so we're going to be doing ratio 2 to 1 with um, the measurement of the developer to the bleach. So we're going to do, um, my head is pretty small and you know, my hair is pretty short. So let's do about maybe four, three or four scoops of this. Let me, let me look at this. One, two, three I think we, we might be able to get away with three I don't like wasting products or should we just make it a round four but let's do three first and then if I feel like I need a fourth then I'll add that so I'm just opening my bleach now and I'm pouring oh this is like <laughs> one and a half like half of the scoop okay so now we're gonna use the application brush so sorry <laughs> to make sure you mix this in very well make sure that all dust particles disappear into the mix and it's very smooth and creamy you want a um, pancake butter texture I feel like maybe we can just go for one more um, but you know let's let's start with this in case if I have to bleach my hair twice to get like my required level of um, lightness I feel like that is sufficient for me because my head is so small <laughs> okay if I need more I'll just mix more okay so we're back now we're done with the mixing of our um, products so next up is first of all you need to not scratch your head like for as like just try not to not scratch your head or anything this hurts like relaxer hurts so yeah yeah okay so normally i would like to use shea butter as kind of like a barrier between my hairline and my face but i'm out of shea butter at the moment i think i packed everything and gave it to my daughter for like a uh, school diaper change so i'm going to be using johnson's baby gel it's thicker than baby oil and then coconut oil as well so i'm just gonna um Put the two in the palm of my of my glove, I guess, and um, and give this a spray on. Mix that, and then create a barrier so that at least even if um, you know some of the bleach touches, like bleeds out, it's not going to touch my skin directly. You know, it's going to be something between my skin and product 
now that's done so it's time to start applying normally when I apply I like to maintain the curls my hair curl pattern I don't like to loosen it up so I don't brush or comb my hair I just apply it apply the cream and leave it however today I want to just try something slightly different and when I'm done applying I'm going to just lightly brush my hair so because there are chemicals in my hair brushing it and kind of straightening it what chemicals are in my hair is going to kind of alter my curl pattern this is what happens when a lot of people bleach their hair and they don't know how to maintain the curl structure they're not supposed to comb hair if you want to maintain whatever curl pattern it is so but today I'm going to like try and see what that's like I'm really enjoying experimenting with my hair you guys so let's start um, there's really no um, method to this I just apply There's still quite a lot of product left and I'm already like halfway done. I want to do the brushing. That's done. Um, so the t let me check the time now. Time is ten thirty six, and um, it's ten thirty six. Um, let me cover my hair. I didn't know why I took my other glove off just now when I had even covered my hair. Then the six. I meant to leave this on for like um, 30 minutes. That will be 1106. Yeah. All right. So I'll be back at 1106, and um, I'll let you guys know exactly what I do and how I wash my hair and stuff. See you. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes now. I'm going to wash my hair with shampoo and then when I'm done, I'm now going to use the purple shampoos. I'm going to mix both of them in my hands, put some water so they can lather up and then I'll apply them to my hair. Hi, so I'm back. Um, my friend actually stopped by so all I could do was shampoo off the um, bleach mixture. I haven't yet put on the purple shampoos at all. So I'm wondering if Oh, I love how my hair looks. It looks slightly, like the curls are slightly looser. It looks really cute. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I should do one more round of bleaching so that the hair can really like be almost white before I now tone it. So yeah, I'm going to repeat the exact same steps that we did earlier on and I'm going to brush the hair because I quite like how the curls are looking. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and then I'm going to wash my hair and then I'll come back and put the purple shampoo on my hair. I'll wash my hair so you can see the color. And then I'll now put purple shampoo on my hair in front of you guys. And then we'll now rinse it off. And then we'll now condition the hair. So I'll be back. Let me go and re-bleach the hair again. So I'm back. Um, this is my hair after the second round of bleaching. And I've washed it with ordinary shampoo. I actually haven't even put in any toning shampoo. And even though on camera it looks, it looks like I might not need toning shampoo, I feel like in person, I could still do with it just a smidge of toning. What do you guys think about? So, I think by the time I put like my conditioner and stuff, my curls will come in a bit more. I feel like, as much as I like, you know what, I, I, I quite I like how the curls look, but um, by the time and the hair is so soft, um, I'll put conditioner in and then we'll see what the curls will look like at that point in time. So, if you use shimmer lights and you put it directly on your hair without you know trying to kind of lather it a bit you you might end up staining your hair purple shimmer lights tends to stain but this doesn't stain this is the blonde brilliance 
but blonde brilliance the one i have right now is in the ash blonde and i feel like i don't want ashy right now i feel like it kind of darkens the hair a little bit but shimmer light is more of like for silver blonde and I, i'm going i'm leaning more towards that side so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take just one pump just like that and I have my spray bottle of water here. I'm going to just spray a lot of water in my hands and lather it like that. And I'm going to now apply that onto my hair. I'm going to leave it for just like three minutes, nothing too long, so that it doesn't stain my hair. I'm going to do two minutes. I really I don't want any purple hues in my hair at all. I want this to be like purely silverish or white but you see by lathering it first I've made sure that none of the purple pigment is directly touching the hair so that it can't stain the hair which is the point of lathering it first if I had put the purple directly on this I would probably have like maybe a purple patch of hair if I leave this on for long Once, I, once it's 12.29 and I'm done with this, I'll go and rinse out my hair, then I'll just put in my conditioner. My conditioner is put a mixture of my Tresemme. It's a moisture intensive, luxurious moisture and conditioner and organic cholesterol. Yeah, so I'm gonna put both of them in my hair. I'll just leave it for a while. So the time is 12.28. Let me just massage this in really well. Kind of give myself a massage at the same time. Oh my god, this feels orgasmic. Now, and I have rinsed out the conditioner from my hair and all of that. So now I'm going to put in some, this M Organics M Tea Tree M Cholesterol. It doubles as rinse out conditioner and even conditioner. So I'm going to take just about this much onto my palm and I'm going to take some coconut oil I'm going to spray like maybe I'm going to give it like three sprays mix that in my palms and then moisturize my hair really really pleased with the shade of white that my hair is with how bright it is and my hair actually feels soft like it doesn't feel dry at all it doesn't feel bad do this then I need to clean up my parting a bit Okay, so my actual clipper, I don't know why it's on one. It's been acting for your recess. I think it just kind of gave up the ghost. So I'm going to use my lady part shaver. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to just use that right now. To just clean up my parts in real quick. that's fine I think that that's a neat enough parts so pretty much that is it for how for like getting my hair this way I'm going to record makeup later today I'm going to record my skincare routine next after that I'm going to like beat my face so I'm sure when I beat my face I'm going to now use that to like round this up so yeah um just in case if I forget to do that thank you guys so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this um, please be sure to like give my video a thumbs up and comment it's gonna help YouTube like recommend my videos to other people on YouTube so that my channel can grow and I can keep coming out with like quality content. I'm here for good. Thank you guys so much. And other than that, there's nothing else for me to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.